Howdy, and welcome back to Anthology of the Killer by the Catamites. Last time, uh, we learned about the flesh of the killer, which obviously, obviously is art. It's art and objective morality, which we both agree on, symbolized by this handshake and this person who is crossing their arms. Two of them. Head missing. We, we all understand. We, we learned. We, 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 we learned. We understood. We observed the flesh of the killer. This is kind of a... Uh, how much for tickets again? I'm becoming increasingly skeptical that all the young people love it. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I was going to say I like it, but I am uh, 31 years old. So the, the young card probably does not... Doesn't apply. Ogon Birdo interested in this Ogon Birdo. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's for, for us, us 30 somethings now. I, I don't know. Can't say I do not know enough about uh, the creator to say, uh, which way, I guess we'll just head forward. Let's just see where this gets us to. It gets us to retro mania holding a little robot. I'm into that. Enjoying that. Also this, this room looks pretty good. Uh, ears. Uh, I don't, yeah, ears is not our next one. Um, you know, a little like space carpet some uh the sea you can see like some ships some ominous fish is that a skeleton no it's a wave we've seen that wave um yeah, it's a pretty good room i'm excited about that but i have a feeling that uh ears is not our next one so we should maybe go a different way warning look out for that guy i guess here we go blood of the killer this is our next one what do we got we got a uh, grandfather clocks with cuckoos some kind of winding bird perhaps a clock Bless ye smiths. Yeah, sure. Uh, we got another winding bird, but in a some kind of dome. Some drinky birds, which I feel like these have an actual name. I don't know it. Drinky bird is the only thing I can think of what they're called. Also, I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> what they're labeled in the game's uh, description. Uh, we got some kind of brown chicken, and we have a perhaps a raven with a crown. Day and night. Night and day. The killer, perhaps. Perhaps I'm assuming that's the killer that's been this individual has been referred to as the killer, so we would we'd think so. I uh, don't see the killer in this. We see a bird lady and some kind of nefarious looking doctor uh, and some drinky birds drinking from blood, so you know because it, uh, of the killer. Oh blood of the killer we're just we're just showing the. The cover. Oh, we actually see the killer there. We see BB on the way. Uh, maybe some zines coming out of a briefcase of some sort. Uh, so let's see the write-up for this on the itch.io page, which, by the way, if you like this game, uh, it's available for, I believe, $6.99 American. I, I guess I can just move my mouse over and scroll up on the itch.io. Oh, it's $6 American. Not even, that's a 99 cent discount over what I thought. What a bargain. You can go. It's in the description. It's been in the description for all of these, so go check it out. Uh, but Blood of the Killer. In the quiet country town... Uh, uh, man, I was like, I'm feeling it. I can read today. And then I had to read the first line of text and just immediately biffed it. Okay, take two. In the quiet country town, the drinky birds uh, lie dreaming in severed heads. Lie okay, hold up. Let me let me rub my eyes. Okay, I can do this one. I can do this. I promise. In the quiet country town, the drinky... The drinky birds lie dreaming and sever heads roll slowly down the street. BB must discover the terrible secret of the lost Zine Distro or fall prey to its curse. Boy, I was like, man, I'm feeling good. I'm going to breathe so well today. I'm, my brain isn't overheating. I actually didn't turn on my fan before recording, which was amateur move, but it'll be fine. I'm not overheating yet, so it should be fine. It's just a regular night in the big city. Yes, that's what I'll say. They don't know I'm delivering a package. Okay, so... We're not starting off in our home. We're in a strange room with illustrations of windows on the wall. I mean, I guess you could just say it's a square. A Punnett square, is that what you call it? I think that's a Punnett square. It's been a long time. Um, but, you know, it's probably supposed to represent windows. And we got some nice lighting here. I'm not sure if we've had lighting like this in this game up until... Or these games, excuse me, up until this point. Um, it has been just a minute since I recorded the, the last of these, so... Uh, bear with me. Uh, what's inside? I'll never tell. I feel it moving softly in my pocket. That's regular. Don't think about it. Okay. So that thing that uh, BB had in the um, 
preview screen for Blood of the Killer was a package, not a briefcase. Oh, we have like a little little curtain that we walk through, which is fun. Uh, seeing as like um, in the uh, ex exhibition, I think that's the word I settled on. Uh, you can just kind of walk through things. So it's kind of fun to see things with like actual collision that we're going through. New tech. Uh, don't think about it. 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 I don't even know when, what not to think about anymore because I'm so not thinking about it that, I, you know, I can't. I can't physically no longer think about it. What's up, bird? Hi. Yeah. Okay, well, you're just having a, a good old train dream, it seems. Oh, that's right. I meant to try looking it up next time I had one of those dreams. Ah, uh, good old Twin Peaksy, uh, strange, uh, uh, dream of portents. I almost said potents like an idiot, but portents. Well, these things are always open to discussion. Dream Interpretation Guide 5E, Travel Edition. Dream of Snakes, a lucky dream, which portends success. Oh, hey, portends right there. Uh, success in a business and in, in business and in snakes. Dream of water. Like the water, you two shall receive lottery jackpot dividends. Wow, this is going great. Dream of delivering a package. Violent death impending. Don't make plans. Ah, oh, man, if only we dreamt of snakes or water. Why can't our friend come back? Our friend... Oh boy, what was what was our friend's name? I can see Drool to kill Tammy. Okay, I was like, I'm, I'm I wasn't gonna get Tammy's name, but luckily I had the itch.io page scrolled down just right that I could still see Drool of the Killer's description. BB's report. It's 10 a.m. I'm heading out to, of the city to investigate the same deal gone wrong. In the small town of Rivertown, a new distro was started with assistance from XX City. But recently, communiques from town have stop, uh, stopped appearing. As the only one who has a rail card, I was appointed to reestablish contact and re report on the progress of the scheme. Ooh, a scheme. The name of my contact is Clarice. Bong. Next stop is Rivertown. The final stop is Rivertown. This train no longer stops at Factory. Well, okay, well, you know, fuck Factory. Uh, I mean, it sounds fine, but what do I do if she's just been too busy to call? Break her legs? Alas, our organizational charter commits us to accountability in the scene. Yeah, you have to be accountable in the zine scene. I mean, if it rhymes, you gotta do it. It just makes sense. I've never been out here before. Maybe I should try to be more worldly. People are staring at me in the station, so I smile way back. That's how you do things in the country. You know, I uh, sort of live out in the middle of nowhere, er a.k.a. the country. Smiling and waving, I would say 50% success rate. You know, I get, well, I feel like if I tried that, I, I used to live in a bigger city. Um, I feel like if I tried that there, I, I think it would probably be a... 75 25 uh 25 being the success rate so i mean eh, you probably just bet best off just going about your own business welcome to rivertown home of the drinky bird visit world's largest drinky bird while you're here wow you see this is what you find when you take the time to expand your horizons your horizons perhaps you know it could be the name of your new zine horizon and it's about you know becoming more worldly by going to places that you can easily get to because you have train access and aren't stranded in the middle of texas uh the statue commun uh, commemorates the 200 workers incinerated by the great drinky bird factory fire of 19xx mm. on the other hand tourist stuff is pretty much the same all over yeah okay so the factory i was like worried that the factory was a thing that i had just forgotten about but i guess it pertains to this game specifically and brochure speak this town is picturesque i'll find out what that means someday the houses are pretty but half the doorways are bricked up as if the place were set up on becoming its own shrine wow i can't believe they got bricked up doors here in drinky bird town i mean it's it's, it's river town that it, it has a name i didn't have to give it its own name i am here well, Clary, Clarice's place isn't far, but I don't even have her number. Wouldn't it be weird if I just show up? Maybe I should buy her a sandwich or something as well. I I won't lie, you know. If someone who I only vaguely know sh like, shows up with a sandwich because, like, and, like, hey, you know, we do need to talk, I, I would be like, okay, well, I, I do need, I do probably need that sandwich. But also, just used to work, just being like, hey, 
I know you wanted a promotion, but fuck you. Here's a sandwich. So, you know, I guess it's just I've been beaten down. Rows of wooden, non-functional, little drinky bird statuettes are the only things for sale at the street kiosk. Are these things lost technology? Maybe they keep the real ones for connoisseurs. Yeah, I'd imagine, you know, you don't want just anyone getting their hands on a drinky bird. That's, you know, that's high tech. You don't want someone getting that and then being like, hey, I broke it. And then being like, I need a refund. Like, I can't. Re there, there, there's no refunds. It's ancient technology. We can't recreate it. Uh, a beautiful remnant of the town's proper, prosperous heyday, sealed and preserved by the Historical Society. Well, the bricks are a bit much, but I guess I can't blame them for being thrown. Did I say that the doors are bricked up and make the the, the, the joke? I don't know if I, I don't know if I actually said that. I was thinking it, and I have so when I record these video, video vittles, when I record a vittle, so little filter between what I say and think. That, like, I honestly don't know if I thought that and didn't say it or if I actually said the, the thing of the, 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 the doors are bricked up. That, that, that was the entire thing. But beneath me is the town's famous river, the ugh, stained red by generations of opaque industrial processes. A real taste of the pastoral. I wonder if I can get a postcard while I'm here. Yeah, I would love to get a postcard of this uh, river stained red that, oh, they put a thing here. Okay, I was like, I know I shouldn't just jump into the river. Uh, because me exploring like that has, you know, caused problems before. So I know I shouldn't do it, but I probably would have tried to jump in the river if that wall wasn't in my way. Uh, I mean, they still could have put an invisible wall in the way, but, uh, you know. And we can see, like, with this, like, cityscape, uh, a, like, the beginning of the anthology. It kind of starts you off in a little city leading into the exhibition. When I visit somewhere new, I always find myself imagining what it'd be like if I lived here. If this road were the one I walked every day... Ex uh, every day expected and invisible hmm. that's an interesting i never think about it that way because i just like if i ever go to a place i'm like oh there's no way in hell i'd be able to afford living here um uh, the same trips to the shops at the bus stop uh only now uh, infused mystery like i could be looking at my life from the outside as if i were myself to become a stranger and we see some some figure walking around the backward <laughs> background i saw gilmore girls and couldn't finish my sentence. There's some figure following us. What's new? I wonder if watching Gilmore Girls has given me an inflated expectations around small town life. You know, it probably did. Small town life. It's, that's not very good, to be honest. Uh, anyway, uh, if I had, well, I mean, it's living in a big city also sucks. So, you know, li li living everywhere just blows. Anyway, if I have these directions right, Clarice's apartment uh, should be right around the middle of the smoldering wreck wreckage. Uh-oh. Something happened here. Oh, man. Poor Clarice. I hope she got out in time. And I just, I need to get this out of my system. C Clarice is the, the name of uh, the ingenue, the uh, damsel in distress from one Lupin the Third, the castle of Cagliostro, which also went on to... Um, Clarice's... Low key supposed to be the character you play in the Japanese version of the arcade game City Connection. I just had to get that out of my head. I'm sorry. Bird Town number one history issue. And then, whack! Don't worry, I'm a murderer. Y yeah. Hmm. I have a feeling that we should be cautious around this person, as if we had been warned. Oh well. Boy, I was surprised to hear they sent two of us out here. I guess the tale must be a bigger deal than it looks. Incidentally, where's your mask? Uh, I'm incognito. Well, good news. I'm nearly through my report. Yes, the case is very nearly closed. Maybe you wasted a trip. Ha 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 ha. Just one or two loose ends. Yeah, this is our friend the murderer. We, we know the murderer. It's all good in the hood. Listen, here's the list of other places on the same supply chain. Check them out and try to reestablish contact. Don't tell anyone who isn't a murderer or I'll have to beat them slowly to death with a hammer. On second thought, tell whoever you like. Ha 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 ha. Uh, this, this guy's a blast and a half. Knows what he's likes and is completely into it. Uh, gee, thanks. I better go. Safe, uh, unsafe travels? Unsafe? Wow, what a pro. Hmm? Oh. Oh, the pro has been staged you know someone came for their job man what was that 
What was oh boy, my my eyes like unfocused for a second. Man, what was that all about? Was that guy looking for Clarice? It didn't seem like a good time to ask him to clarify. What? I'm guessing this is a restaurant, you know, drinking probably a coffee or some some like. But I'm looking at the what I assume is food. So the green thing probably plate. The I was gonna say brown, but I guess it is still kind of green. The brownish green with the white specks probably food. The blue thing I would have assumed is a utensil, but I'm not exactly sure what this is. Like, I guess it could be just like some kind of generic like gruel or slop. Seems to have like maybe like bones sticking. I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on with what baby's got in front of her. Well, it's not like I have any other leads. Uh, and some of these do seem like places you might drop off a zine. Oh, we have a little map and we got a cute little, uh, cute little baby for the traversing the map and I'm not going to go too far. I'm going to go too far. Okay, the game, the game knows. The game knows exactly what I was going to do. I'm sorry, game. I'll get back to it. Okay, so we found issue number one, the history issue. We have the map of Rivertown. The river is the wrong color here. We have store, a oh, record store. That's pretty good. Uh, that is the closest to where we started. Uh, we have book depository. Ho oh, oh. ho. Perhaps that's where they crowned the, the king of Cuba. A little joke from some other band and by joke i mean just literally <laughs> lyrics from a song clarice maybe we don't know we can't interact with our coffee unfortunately i mean i don't care because i don't like coffee but you know you know maybe bb bb clearly likes coffee uh street market okay well let's just start we'll we'll make a we'll make a is that the shape that Ash's Pokemon hat, like his Pokemon hat, Jesus Christ, his hat has in the first season of Pokemon, because it has like a, eh, like some kind of angular, like little, like almost check mark, but not. We'll, we'll make, we'll make the Ash symbol, sure, why not? Excuse me, would there be a record store around here? Follow the smoke. Uh, oh. Well, he may have exaggerated a bit. Any smoke here may have, uh, already disappeared along with the owners, melted, uh, Seven, oh mel melted seventy eight. Oh fuck! I I seven. I guess it's just seventy eights, like a seventy eight millimeter. I don't I don't know shit about records. I own a couple, but mm, I thought it'd be cool to get up, collect them in high school, and then I was like, wow, this is gonna cost money, and then stopped. Along with the owners, melted seventy eights uh, form uh, thick puddles in the ash. Also, it, like, like I said, it had been a minute since the last one, so I don't remember if... I don't think BB always wears this like little like red jacket, but it, it's a good look for BB. Bloody Hans and his Night Stranglers, live from the Bird Museum. I wish I'd had a chance to poke around here before it burned. You can find good stuff in these little record stores. I've never even heard of any of these bands. You've never heard of Bloody Hans and his Night Stranglers? <laughs> What an amateur, you know, um, you, B, BB, well, I was going to say BB is young, but then I was like, well, she's in college. I'm thir Like I said, I'm 31, so <laughs> she's, she's young. Um, a, stir a sturdy of charred brick passage stretches out behind a collapsed shelf. Is this the way to the employee lounge? A pretty large building to have that long of a hallway. Well, it's probably not the lounge. The air feels different here. Uh, like I've walked into a much larger structure in a... Is this a transport tunnel or something? What's with the crates? Yeah, we can see some crates. We can't interact with them. We can't check them and obtain item. It's not that kind of game. We'll go left first. That's normally how I handle mazes. And just if I have a choice, I'll be just like, ah, fuck it, I'll go left. Because my gamer instinct, I want to check out every single direction. But, you know, you do what you can. Dietly packed bundles of rubber horror masks. Sticker on the side reads XX City. But is it from or to... Hey, Mandy, I'm thinking aloud, but wouldn't it just be a lot easier to follow this girl if we just broke both her legs? I mean, as inconspicuously as possible. That's a good point. Handy, but we've got to stay undetected. I've got it. <laughs> Let's kill her first, then we can break her legs and follow her around. Yes, wait, hold on. I feel like we're missing something here. But what? But what? How many possible combinations are there for A, killing her, B, breaking her legs, C, following her around? Maybe we could experiment until we found one that felt right in the moment. Oh, oh, I can move. I didn't realize. Um, they, they, they've probably been coming after me this entire time, uh, and I just didn't realize. Since, you know, we're normally being followed in these kinds of games. And Hello. hello. Oh, hello. Yeah. Hi. That actually did, like, spook me a little, the actual hello. Because um, I was like, oh, I like BB's little, like, worried portrait. And also probably means that we were being followed. 
Uh, okay, now that we've heard them. Oh, but aren't you the mo well, I mean, hello! Like, I mean, that's kind of the voice they made. Oh, but aren't you the cutest little murderer? Yes, you are. You're going to be executed for your crimes against history. Yes, you will. Uh, stop that. Why does everyone in this town think I'm a murderer? Is it just the coat? No use denying it. We've already seen you around with notorious criminal Murderer X. Also, we've been reading your zine, a truly heinous document that records your many crimes. July 3rd, Cannibal Blood Feast. July 10th, More Knife Murders. July 13th, Decomposing Corpses. Those are bans! It's called a scene report. The zine scene, like I said. Also, wait, did you really read my zine? Like, all of it? What did you think? A little prolix. Prolix? I've actually never heard of that word. But that's not a problem you have anymore. Ah ha 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 ha! Everyone's a critic. Everyone's a critic. I, I decided to say it again, and then I realized I don't have a funny like. Oh, everybody's a critic voice. Like, like what? Like I don't even know what voice to put on to make. Like, oh, everyone's a critic. Like I can't. I can't do good accents. Uh, so you know, I I don't know. Why would uh Why would anyone store their masks this way? I see a door up the the, the top to clamber a greasy rubber Dracula mass slipping out in great uh, cascades beneath my feet. Uh, I started, I wanted to read that fast and then just bop dipped it. Uh, I still hear the two pursuers, but hopefully uh, it'll, uh, hopefully it's even harder to climb up that stuff in heels. Did I fall into a war between rival party supply chains? You know, this is a very high and horrible mask facility for such a little town. I wonder who's running it and hope I never have to find out. See, that's the fun thing about wondering stuff is, you know, sometimes you, you have a thought and you're like, huh, I wonder that. And you're like, I never want to learn that. Kill you, kill you, kill you. Ouch, ouch. What did I actually learn from all that? Well, at least there are two people in this town who bother keeping up with the zines. I wonder if they ever met Clarice. Okay, I didn't learn anything from that, but the next place we'll go will have some answers. At the street market, a town's secret history is at the junk store. That's what I'd say if I hadn't accepted my own rat-like impulse to dig around in piles of used clutter by now. Still, you find things out. Oh, okay. I was like, can't really. I guess this this uh, this stall just isn't manned, because uh, I was like, okay, I guess we're just gonna go around this. But no, there's there's more of the the market in this direction. You know, markets like this, I always like see them. And I'm like, oh, this is gonna be interesting. And then I walk in, I'm like, oh, it's just kind of a bunch of junk. And then when you find like stuff that's neat, like oh, you know, like some like hand carved things or like handmade like like little jewelry with like little rocks or beads or whatever. And it's like this is neat. I don't need any of this stuff though, so it's like I don't, I don't know why, but it's like I still get excited about places like this. But then it's just like I don't, I don't want any of this stuff. I did go to a street market once that had a like banana bread stand, and I was like, hell yeah, I want some banana bread. And I just walked up and I was like, oh, I want this banana bread. And the lady there was like, oh, have some free samples. And I was like, oh, cool. So I had one. I was like, yeah, give me the banana bread. And she's like, oh, you don't want to sample any of the others? And it was just like, she gave me like three free samples. And I had already expressed like, yeah, I want the banana bread. They did have different kinds. Um, but I think, I think it's been a while, but I feel like I got banana bread with pecan in it. It was really fucking good. Um, and I knew I wanted it from the get go, but ladies was just like, no, have more free samples. Um, I was also on foot and had no way of like transporting more than one banana bread. Uh, so I couldn't have got more to bring back and be like, hey, who wants some fucking banana bread? This was a, I'm going to have to hold this banana bread uh, until I get home, which will take several hours because I am on foot. Entering crate mode. Uh, crate mode, wow, that's pretty good. Entering crate mode, I rummage and discover cookery books. Bits of wire, machine parts, old video game consoles, used medical textbooks with wor horrifying illustrations. The search goes on. Sorry, I got distracted. I was thinking about that banana bread. That banana bread was damn good. Uh, anthologies of inscrutable political cartoons, mushy golf balls, old newspapers with rambling letters of, uh, to the editor from a concerned citizen. Oh, dangerous. Rubber spider. Yeah, scratch that. Regular spider. You know, spiders, you know... Out of all the bugs you can get in your home, spiders don't really bug me. I mean, I guess they're, well, uh, they're not insects, but you know, they're bug. If they're a Pokemon, they're a bug type. Don't, don't get on my ass about that. But you know, I see a spider, it's like, I'm fine with the spider, you know? Ants, however, if I see a single ant in my home, I'm like, this, this is bad. This is gonna, I, ants actually like freak me the hell out. I've had my feet covered with ants twice in my life and just, ooh, can't stand ants. Uh, but, but a spider, you know, the spider is a friend who will help eat the bugs that you don't want in your home. 
Underneath the Bort dolls, I pull out a box of ancient drinky bird figurines and whatever strange alchemy and whatever strange alchemy once made them drink has long departed. Sweet bird of youth. I almost said al alchemy instead of alchemy. I, I don't know what was wrong with my brain there. Like I know the word alchemy. Uh, you know, we've I was about to say we've all, but I've seen full metal alchemists, full metal, you, you know. I, I, I know the I can read, I promise. I know I'm not doing myself any favors, but no, oh, hey, it's that's us up there. I mean, I guess it's not us is what we learned during Flesh, but you know, of the killer. Flesh, you know, of the killer, <laughs> the name of the game. Nobody glanced at me as I explored, which is possibly some roundabout way of asserting vendor's dominance. Well, there's no sign on the warehouse in the back to say, there, well, there's no sign on the warehouse in the back to say it's not part of the sale area, boy. I need to just sit down and maybe just read some books before I record next time or something. I wonder if they keep the good stuff back here. Fragments of decrepit industrial machinery are stacked haphazardly around the court door. Probably this is the good stuff to someone. I mean, yeah, a bunch of like weird machine parts. Like, it has to be good, right? Couldn't be bad. Uh, the drawers of old office desks are stuffed with rotting uh, mulch receipts. The header on one reads, Golden Burned, Golden Burned, oh my god, Golden Bird Co. LLC. Are these all from the Drinky Bird place? They really tried to scale. I guess, like, tried to, like, grow their operation of selling Drinky Birds, or, or creating and then selling Drinky Birds, I guess, is what uh, BB meant thereby. They tried to scale. Uh, old cogs and rubber casting trays. The outline print, the outline printed on them seems familiar, like a face I glimpsed once in a dream. Oh, actually, wait, let me, let me see. Is there... It's not really a face here I can make out. Um, couldn't see if it looked like the face we saw at the beginning or if it looked like the killer. Is this different? No, okay. It went dark so quickly, I thought there might have been a uh, different passage we could have gone down, but no, that was not the case. At the back of the last table, I find a binder of the words Drinky Bird Mark II production notes are written on the bureau on the spine. In the, in, oh, in bureau on the spine. I open it up and find. I don't know what in bureau technically means. Hmm? Maybe like that it's embossed in some way? It is maybe bureau is language? Like, um, maybe it's like a different form of braille? Hmm? Some kind of crazed essay about sword fighting a bear? What? We see that in the organic world to the same degree uh, that reflection gets darker and weaker, grace grows even more radiant and dominant. But just as two lines intersect on one side of a point, and after passing through infinitely, suddenly come together again on the other side, or the image in a concave mirror suddenly reappears before us after drawing away into the infinite distance, so too does grace return once perception has tra traversed the infinite, such that it simultaneously appears in the purest uh, simultaneously appears the purest in human bodily structures that are either devoid of consciousness or which possess an infinite consciousness, such as the jointed mannequin or the god. I don't know why, but the word mannequin, I was like, I, I, I guessing maybe mannequin, either that means something different than the mannequin I'm thinking of, or maybe just the like United States way of spelling a mannequin is different. Or either that or, yeah, because I'm thinking like, like it has a Q in there. Hmm? Oh, we see a red light. Was that? I don't think that's the way we came from, but um, maybe there's another way. I'm not exactly sure because I can't see. Oh, maybe that was BB walking. No, there's definitely someone walking. But so we should probably get a mose. Oh, okay. It's not someone walking. It's someone um hacking away. I was gonna I was gonna say shoveling coal, but then I was like, no, it's probably just hacking up a body. You know. Good old style. Good old style murdering. And it's our friend, the bird. Uh, Clarice? Oh, it's Clarice. Mm hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so Clarice, uh, very skilled uh, at using the blade. You know, swinging haphazardly, you would think that's amateur hour, but no, you know. Clearly was hacking that body apart, uh, and, you know, with the confidence she was approaching us, I think we can trust Clarice, especially since we're playing as her now. I don't have, like, a swing button. Uh, Clarice seems to have, um, I wouldn't say sheathed, but is uh, staying her blade, at the very least, uh, holding it with her, her uh, 
sleeve so it doesn't cut her hand or unless it's cutting through her shirt, uh, which would just be more inconvenient. And at that point, you know, you might as well just let it, you know, slice you up so then your shirt will be fine because it's going to slice your shirt then slice you up. So, you know, you know, you might as well just cut to the chip, cut to the chip. So was that Clarice or not? Maybe she didn't rec or she just didn't recognize me. OK, didn't learn anything from that. But the next place we'll go, we'll have some answers. That was fun that we got to play Clarice. Uh, I wasn't sure what we were going to do there, but it's just to, you know, like chasing after BB, kind of lost track of BB. And we see Clarice here. Clarice doesn't look like Bird here, but this, I thought this might be a um, umbrella when I saw it the first time, but looking at it now, it's definitely a thumb on the, uh, on the lens of the camera. So just blocking off a bit of Clarice, but Clarice doesn't appear to be Bird here. So it's time for a book depository. You know, not to sound jaded, but I feel like I have already a good idea which building here will turn out to have been a book depository. Does this place have a fire department? That is a good question. Do they have a fire department? That's something I ask about um, the town I live in. We have a volunteer fire department. I've never seen them actually do anything. There was a there was like a big barn on the edge of town that fucking went up in flames a couple months ago. I was like, wow, holy shit, that's a big ass fire. It's like, do I need to call 911? But I could hear fire trucks coming from the city behind me, which I don't know if the city, the closest like town behind me, um, I don't know if they have their own fire department or if it's another volunteer one. So I don't know if it was coming from there or the bigger city that I just come from, which was 30 minutes away, or if it was coming from the town over the other way, which is like 20 minutes away. It's like... Man, this barn's probably just fucked. It's a shame that the uh, fire department, you know, five, you know, less than five minutes away from it, isn't really doesn't have volunteer. Hmm. Hmm. I don't. I don't know. Mysteriously charred pages in the wreckage were were they placed here after the fire? What do they say? A true secret history of the murderers and wreckers by a concerned citizen. Oh boy. <laughs> the what? Is, what is this shit? Uh, the record history of the murderers and wreckers is that the false history, which stands in place of the in the oh boy, which stands in place of the true history evident of the merest child, is that the false history which the wreckers and murderers seek to substitute for the glorious true history of the world. The truth of the history is a beautiful house filled with the statues, etc. Oh, I guess that's how you spell etc. in full. I've never actually seen it spelled in full. Uh, and it is the people without history and murderers and wreckers and conspirators who stand outside this house and try to break in through the windows in order to replace everything with their disease <laughs> history and their wrecker history, which a child can tell is the false history, but which nevertheless is passed to us as the real history and the true as opposed to the really true and the truly real history, which is that of the houses and the monuments and factories and statues and beauty and truth and such like, which again a simple child can detect and point to to and say this is the, this is true this is mine this is the true history passed on to me by my father who is dead okay so we went from page one to page 26 to betray the true history to imply our fathers had passed on to us the false coin of the false history as our glorious inheritance is the ultimate betrayal and is in the oh i just had a like <laughs> uh anti spywords popped up because i ran it earlier like hey hey give me more money it's like no i'm using the free edition for a reason um where were we? Um, okay, yes. Our glorious inheritance is the ultimate betrayal, and it is the rejection of this betrayal of our fathers that we identify and reject the false history of the non-fathers of the record of murderers, etc. From outside of history, the dismal room outside the grand and meaningful museum of the world, uh, history museum of world history filled with... <laughs> monuments, etc. Built by our fathers, our duty, our inheritance, to maintain this inheritance and reject the false inheritance of the murderer history that the murderers and wreckers insinuate is the true history, the real history, but which we ourselves know for certain is the opposite of true history. It is false history and the false coin that diminish, um, boy, diminishes the coin inheritance of our great history of our fathers and their coins and our heritage, etc. Spelled with the way I normally see it, the abbreviation. Hey, wait a minute, come back here. Oh boy, we're on the chase, chasing after someone dropping uh, pages about true history, inheritance and false history, and you know, what our fathers would think. Why is this guy running away from me? On the other hand, why am I chasing him? Well, I must admit, it's a nice change from the usual way around. Yeah, BB does get chased and uh, kidnapped a lot, so you know, 
good good for BB. Game took a second there. My vengeance needs blood. Oh, Henry James. I'm always saying this, Henry James. Return of the Master. <laughs> the spoils of Ponyton, mine at last. What? Who's there? No, it can't be your... <laughs> it was crunchy. There was a slippery flesh noise. Oh, this isn't the first time we've been in a theater. Nobody appreciates the classics. I agree, BB. There's some, there's some fucking great-ass movies that just people don't watch anymore. Although, the ones that I'm thinking of, of as classics are, you know, maybe things that other people wouldn't say. Or classics like uh like Tammy and the T Rex, greatest film ever made, which pissed off that now whenever I say it, people are like, Oh, you know it was in the Justin Roiland games. Like, I don't need to hear about that asshole. I just want to talk about Tammy and the T Rex, the greatest movie ever made. I wonder where that hat guy went. Is this some kind of private cinema? Decades of uh, moldering. I've not heard moldering before. Moldering promo posters molt off as I pass by it. It feels like I'm the only person to be here for years. Another mangled corpse, but how? Ah, if only every aspect of the case weren't uh, suffused, suffused by ex by such exquisite ambiguity. Okay. <laughs> More literary adaptations. Um, yeah, was just just looking in there and just seeing a robot, bird lady, another Nike statue. Um, what does it say? Atrocities two. Hell yeah, Atrocities two is uh, something I I would like sit down. And be like, I would love to watch Atrocities two. We work in the dark. We do what we can. Ooh, ha ha ha! Theater sealed this historical document for the benefit of future generations. Well, as a future generation, I just wish they dust. What exactly is this place trying to preserve? Well, the, the cinema, obviously. The, the desk in the office is slightly less cobwebby than anything else around on it. On it, I find a shredded copy of Clarissa Zine and a flyer for the Rivertown Historical Society. Well, we did want to visit some of the tourists. Well, I did want to visit some of the tourist stuff while I was here. We can see um, guy in the background. Okay, I didn't learn anything from that, but the next place will have some answers. Okay, well, we visited all the places in our Ash Ketchum hat symbol ro rotation that we did. Is there anything else on the map of oh, the Historical Society now? We, we actually, we did, we did learn something from that one. We learned about the Historical Society, which, you know, pretty good fucking level. And, you know, a little game called Silent Hill 2, you know, pro probably heard of that one. After wondering a while, uh, after, after wondering a while down alleys, I eventually tracked down the Rivertown Historical Society. It's pokier than I was expecting, but I guess it's plusher on the inside. Glass bird eyes stare back at me from every corner of the room. Is this history? You know, BB? I dare to say that this might just be history. It seems like history to me. Therefore, I have sailed the seas and come to the holy city of Byzant Byzantium. I almost said Byzantium. Jesus, I need to learn how to read. Welcome, welcome, lover of the history. It's welcome to the Museum of Mechanical Birds. Hmm. I mean, that that's a history. It sure is. I, I would love to go to the Museum of Mechanical Birds. I would love to learn about that. Yes, yes, more than just drinky birds. They form the firm foundation on which our fair town is built. We strive to see beyond them, move beyond them, as our fathers did. Yes. The immortal golden bird, changeless metal. Well, plastic, ha, ha, ha. But the tradition remains the same. Alive, Vita, living, unliving. Images of grace, images of... Fear. Machines of burnished gold adorned the great court of Byzantium, and the function was to terrify, to demonstrate wealth and skill, and suggest that these things might be turned upon the viewer. Ha ha. Mm. Ha ha. I didn't see BB. I saw BBs, but then I forgot that BB said something because I was like so busy reading. Uh, the, uh, the announcers. Was there stairs here that I overlooked? There were stairs here I overlooked. I was like, wasn't not seeing it, anything over here. I like this guy. Oh, I can't go back up the stairs. Can't get a be better angle on. But this is this this dude, like kind of a pterodactyl with some kind of eye symbol. Pretty good. I like it. A beautiful tradition that continues on today. Contemporary mechanical birds induce the military, industrial complex, video games, and the internet yet what more might we find by following this 
River to the source. You're not going to put a haha -ha after that. I mean, it's River Town. Up at points of widening income disparity, similar icons are always required. So the fathers, my father, decided to act to ache our novelty amusements factory into a new direction. I've never heard the word ache. Ache in that sense. You know, I've heard like, ooh, my tummy, it ache, but not to decided to ache our novelty. One which could catch and manifest the shape of history. New birds for a new age? Uh, yeah, then what happened? Alas, the factory burned down after the construction of the first prototype drinky bird mark too the town was never the same but i still think we'll catch the culprits someday ha 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 don't won't you put your name and address in the guest book uh sorry i commemorative t-shirt ashtray mug it's a mechanical bird thing you wouldn't understand that's a great shirt man, uh, bb i disagree wholeheartedly man i'm never gonna wear this shirt i would wear this shirt bb I want people to know it's a mechanical bird thing. <sighs> I think I'm finally out of leads. Is it a breach of fake detective etiquette to just go home? You know, I think fake detective etiquette, like, you know, just going home it is pretty high on the list of things a fake detective would do. Just being like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, I didn't actually see anything on the map. So what are, we, what are we supposed to... Oh, I, I, I didn't see the thing in the top right. It was a good thing I started walking that direction out of instinct. Um, attention patrons, patrons attention, enter. Um, I, I didn't need to say it. It was telling me to... I, it, you, yeah, I fucked up there. Don't get up. Open mic time is about to begin. Please enjoy the first act in an hour of amateur musical stylings. Twang. If you take a walk downtown and you find time to look around, if you see me and I walk on by, oh, darling, please don't cry. Tonight, oh, tonight we'll meet at the dark end of the street. You and me. You know, getting killed is bad enough without having to listen to musical numbers about it. I've been here all day, and what did I even accomplish? I'm sick of it. I'm going home. Yeah, you know what, baby? I'm, I'm with you. I think, I think it's probably for the best. The Zing Committee will have to cut their losses. What do I pay my dues for anyway? Uh, well, admittedly, the tote bag is kind of cute. Nevertheless, I'm out of here. Yeah, you know, the Zing Committee, if they want something done, they're going to have to pay a bit more than what BB's getting paid, which I, I believe is either nothing or very, very little. Um, I, aside from selling the Bort dolls online with ZZ. Uh, a train pulls up as, uh, as just as I reach the station and I hop on board. Great. I didn't find out what happened, but that's just how it goes. That's life. That's how I'll write it up. I need to end some of my, like, like whenever I have to. I've uh, I've never had to do a work report. But, you know, send out an email. Like, hey, is it done? You know, I didn't finish it. That's life. In quotations. When they ask, am I quoting someone specific? I'll just say that's life again. Until I either get, lose my job or they stop asking. Uh, the seat is the comfiest thing I've ever felt. It's polyester or something. They should roll me up in this when they put me in my grave. Oh, oh, BB. Just get buried loose. That's how I'm planning to go. Just just throw me on the ground. It'll be fine. Boom. The train is now parting. The next stop is factory. Next stop, Final stop is factory. Uh-oh. But we heard it doesn't stop at factory anymore. I like the, the way the movement of the camera here is very nice. Like, I know that the camera kind of just auto falls, follows... Well, it, the camera does just auto follow in all instances, but the way when it was walking up against that waffle. Oh, hey, you got me. Oh, it took him a second to get me. Wait, don't kill me. Oh, hey, where did they go? Blissy's miss. I don't know where I am, but I appear to have both eyes and most of my blood. Were those two just po p p posiers after all? A cool night breeze comes in the open door. I'm guessing just. I would spell posers without that U in there, but I'm guessing that's just. A European thing. Um, I thought we were in the historical society, but we, I was gonna say this. This feels like graveyardy to me, but it isn't really graveyardy, I guess. Statues half submerged in ivy heap up the lawn. Unlit factory buildings spread out in the distance, leading an ex an ex an exorable an ex execrable execrably. I know what the word means, but now I'm like, how the fuck do you, I can't I can't think of the pronunciation pronunci oh boy pronunciation of an execrably. Exorably. Ex exorably. That's how you say it, definitely. Towards the mansion on the hill. Okay, let's just go on. You know, 
never claimed to be a wordsmith. Uh, the door's wide open. Aren't they afraid someone might steal all their clocks? I mean, they have so many clocks. Stealing a couple would probably do them a favor. Hey, there's a mimograph. I've always wanted one of those. Smudged carbon copies are piled up ankle deep across the floor, sternly announcing the dangers of unfettered mimo mimography. Mimography, that's a pretty good word. What do these letters say? Dear sirs, my first my first my warm compliments upon the previous day's Mary's Worth a cartoon, which I found both delightful and instructive. I have enclosed more ideas. However, I note with dismay your decision not to commit uh, comment upon the increasingly outrageous price of cinema popcorn, a scourge which funds drugs or gain activity. See previous letters. You know, if if, if popcorn costing as much as it did is because it funded drug or gang activities and wasn't just capitalism running amok you know that that probably i'd probably be more okay with that to be honest decline in moral values rivers of blood can they legally call it a happy meal if eating one makes me depressed please print this letter faithfully yours a concerned citizen this citizen is very concerned a lot of concerns in this citizen wait a minute or, or what? Uh, oh, I said, wait a minute. Oh, boy. I'm just reading backwards now. Man, these things are bleak. Wait a minute. Dear sirs, I hope this epistle finds you well. Epistle? Is that how you? Pos? Mm, I think epistle is correct. Um, finds you well. Here's a here's an idea for a new Mary Worth cartoon. Feel free to use. In the cartoon, Mary Worth is depressed and sad and down in the dumps about her life. The life she, that was promised and the life that was... And the life that was had in the ruins of her parents' drinky bird factory the rubble of a dynasty that never came to pass when she starts to read a poorly printed Simzat Simzat she picked up at the record store with a sticker on the cover calling it a zine. The zine says it's about history and so she reads it and so she reads it, but it's not about history. It is about a bad dream and a horror story in which all the names and faces she reveres from books and statues reappear and set as torturers and killers and to as toadies and functionaries of a charnel, charnel house. Uh, and as she reads, she feels as though the beautiful history she adores and worships has been replaced by a lake of blood that has no bottom. And she, and she and everyone she knows is sinking in the lake, and so is her house. It is at this point in the comic strip that Mary Worth has a grand realization. She realizes all recorded history is the object of a vast conspiracy and that the name given to this conspiracy is that of Zines acronym that the conspiracy was that was that boy that this conspiracy was the worm in the great apple that is history and that the reason that the apple now turns to shit in her mouth is that her life will continue to get worse and worse until the evil conspiracy of wreckers can at last be smashed and killed and, and put to an end please give me credit if you use this cartoon constructive feedback welcome yours faithfully a concerned citizen i did wonder if it was too good to be true that there were people who actually read these things poor bb find out that uh the zines were read by someone who May have learned the secret about zines. Ooh! Is she asleep? She's not chasing me. I should go, but this is my chance to see if it's really Clarice under that mask. This is a really stupid decision. You know, what are you going to do at this point? You might as well. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Yeah, we made a real mess of her face getting all the pieces inside. This way, please. Don't worry, she's harmless. Until you turn the key. Mostly, we just hang her own coats and... We just hang her coat. We just hang. Oh, we, okay. There we go. I got it. Mostly, we just hang coats on her and stuff. I was re the interpretation I got from this from my like just quick just like glance was like okay they're just putting her on like a coat rack. But no, they're saying that they hang coats on her. Hey, that's right. Where'd my coat go to anyway? Oh, it's around here somewhere. Uh, you really, you didn't really have the figure for it. It was like chasing around the kid from Don't Look Now good movie by the way uh okay uh next time i'll get all my clothes from the sexy halloween nurse been at party warehouse and said couldn't hurt you know i guess it couldn't hurt thank you al i you know maybe i'll replace my wardrobe follow their uh their advice hello i forgot i can't remember his name void oh I, I got it now ha ha yes uh that's right i am to the drinky bird dynasty i'm secretly the concerned citizen whose inflammatory pamphlets had been causing such a stir i don't really care 
<laughs> okay, Z and HQ, Dark Monies, Crime. Okay, the crime gives the crime makes Dark Monies, which goes back and forth between Z and HQ and Dark Monies. Doesn't go back to crime. Z and HQ, Print Media Cartel, Mary Worth censored, Apple Mary, back and forth. Okay, Other Cells, Rivertown, Record Store, Bookstore, Street Market. Okay, we we understand the plan now. Oh, obviously. The sang Freud expected of a true revolutionary, right down to the classic cell system. Each distro or cadre knows nothing of the others. But you didn't predict what remained of the drinky bird Mark II tech. Technology could be used to rewire a human brain. A rookie error. Once we infiltrated the network, it was easy. It was a shame your local... You're, uh, boy, I just... Oh, no, I was like, I just slapped local organization. But no, I just started reading local from the next line. A shame your organization's tendrils had to reach so many local businesses, but sacrifices must be made. Interestingly, they all had some sideline involving rubber horror masks as well. Coincidence, I guess. Why is that the thing you guys are paranoid about? And up here is you, attention caught by all carnage, a representative of National Corp sent out to review the situation. Admittedly, I didn't think you'd burn down half the town in the process. Who knows what true depravity lurks in the criminal soul. Man, I only got here today. I thought you people are, were the one burning stuff down. Don't be silly. If not you, then... Who? Okay, well, the, the, the shh is gone, so I suppose I can talk again. Well, it's nothing you have to worry about. Just give me a second, and then this body won't be you anymore. It'll be a new thing that has your face and name, and we're going to use it to kill all your friends. Won't that be nice, nurses? Can you bring the blood bucket before I open her head this time? Nurses? Oh, jeez. Not even a blood bucket. You deal with it. I can't even move, though. Do I smell smoke? Well, I guess this would explain it. Incinerating letters to the editor just li light up... Oh, boy. In uh, light up the stairs. Just why is the fire safety such an issue in this town? Okay, so my brain stopped there for a second because I was going to be light up just like, and then it didn't continue the way. I, like, oh, they, they the letters light up just like, uh? And then I was like, okay, it didn't continue the way, and it just made my brain stop. Overheat, perhaps, in the fire. Smoke pours through the carpets and twists into strange shapes. In the air, glimpsed figures, uh, vegetable outlines. I hear the pop of drinky birds exploding in their crates. Emerging and dissolving in air, reaching hands, a ghost, a staring head, a bloody mask. Uh, is this history that guy was so keen on? I don't know if I get the appeal. Am I going the right way? Well, I, I assume I'm going the right way. It's not really much direction to go, but I seem to have been turned around. Um, well, I mean, we'll just continue on until something happens, I guess. Uh, yeah, see, I yeah, I got completely turned around because um, we hit this. So there must have been a different direction I was meant to. Oh, there's, I couldn't see this passageway here for whatever reason. You know, uh, <laughs> this is the worst work vacation of my life. I can't believe I didn't even get to see the world's largest drinky bird. That is a shame. You would have hoped to at least see that for the end. Ah. Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 don't... Is that my coat? Uh, thank you. I'm glad you're feeling better. Incidentally, I'm just here to check in on that zine distro you were putting together. Ah! Yeah, maybe not the best time, BB. To be fair. Oh, and our, our coat saved us. Okay, maybe that was push. And push... Oh, BB the kidder. After a while, I made my way off, to the stat uh, off of the statue and took the last train home. What remained of the mansion was still burning when I left. I never found out 
I never found out just what happened to Clarice, but they say if you hold a zine event in a quiet country town, she will appear and not buy anything. I mean, I think we figured out. Dude just straight up was like, yeah, I turned her into the uh, Drinky Bird uh, Mark II. So I, I think we figured out what happened to her. It's a shame she shows up to these things and doesn't buy anything, though. Um, yeah, but that was Blood of the Killer. Um, once again, an interesting name for it. Um, seeing as blood didn't seem to be too central a theme of this. Like, you know, we heard about the blood buck at the end. Um, we lost, or we kept most of our blood when we were first caught by the nurses. Uh, and also, when I, uh, when I saw this for the first time, I assumed, you know, oh, it's like one character, you know, split in half by the, the bird lady part of the picture. But oh, now we know that there are just two nurses. This isn't supposed to be like two people, or one person, like, you know, split half artistically it's just no there 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 were two two nurses so it's blood of the killer i really like that one um i, I, I still think drill the killer is my favorite I, I don't know why that one tickled me as much as it did um but oh hey and we can see uh bird clarice there now now we know well, i i can only i can't now we know i've, I've done this before <laughs> uh but yeah i really enjoyed uh blood of the killer uh so we're <laughs> i enjoyed it so we're done with it done